Today, we're gonna to be talking about your window balance system and how it affects the operation of the window. Maybe you're having trouble opening the window or maybe the window is having difficulty staying open. My name is Michael DiMartino and I've been in the remodeling and home improvement industry for 20 years. I've also been featured on Realtor.com and BobVila.com as a home expert. All right, let's have a look. Your balance system is of the utmost importance to the operation of your window. Let's say it is a beautiful spring or autumn day and you want some fresh air in your home. You go to lift your window and it falls right back down. We call that the guillotine window. It, prevents, it presents a multitude of problems here. Number one, uh, I just bumped my top sash. When the inner locks hit, I bumped my top sash down. Now I can't engage the locks even if I wanted to. Um, but I'm gonna show you guys how to diagnose, troubleshoot, and resolve this without us having to make a service call to your home. So the first thing is, you're gonna make sure that your top sash is back in the posi position that it is supposed to be. In order to uh, identify the balance system, the balance system lives within the frame, the sash being the operational piece of the window, the frame, so you're going to have to lift your window up, uh, support it, with your non-dominant hand here while you engage your tilt latches by pushing these locks straight back and tilting the window all the way in, just like you would if you were cleaning it, letting it rest on your molding or on the drywall itself. And I can see immediately the issue is with the, the balance system is this piece here and it acts, it's a constant force balancer, which means it operates like a tape measure. So without it being locked, it's just gonna spool back in to, to its uh, component, to its uh, housing here. And this shoe of this balance system is in the wrong position. It's in the C position. So if you guys have a flathead screwdriver in your home, um, I want you to just put that flathead screwdriver inside this uh, little horseshoe shaped piece of the shoe and move it up and down a couple times to get a feel for it. It's under tension. So be careful that if you disengage, it's gonna snap back into place. But if you pull that shoe down a ways and then rotate your flathead screwdriver so that the horseshoe is now in the U position, um, we'll be able to take this sash out and get this thing lined back up again. So down in here is a, a foreign object. It's a little black clip that I know what this is, but you may not. This is a locking clip for the shoe and if it looks like that, it's actually missing its piece. So the clip goes in just like so, and it's supposed to prevent the pivot pin from popping out of this. But in this case, clip came out, the shoe disengaged from the pivot pin, and we got a window that won't stay open. So on the other side, I am gently going to remove that black clip. I say gently because in the cold weather, these pieces can get brittle. We don't want you to break them. And in order to remove a sash, it has to be parallel to the floor. So now it is a perfect 90 degree angle to the frame. I just twist and that is your pivot pin right there. There's one on either side and that is the piece that sits inside of the shoe. Now what I wanna do is take my flathead screwdriver again. I wanna make sure that this shoe is roughly on the same plane as the shoe on the other side. So again, I'm going to engage it into the C position by rotating it, pull it down to where it is at approximately the same position as its counterpart on the other side. Pick up my sash. I am going to put the pivot pin, drop it back into the U, so give it a little bit of an angle so you can fit it inside the frame. And you should feel it sit inside that U with relative these. Before I put my black clips back in, I like to just make sure that this thing is now operational. The black clips don't really play a part in the operation of the window, it's more just a security feature. Bend that back down. The black clip has a little flexible piece right there. This is the piece that locks into the bottom. So I'm gonna put this one back in over here like so. You'll hear it click into the shoe like so. Now the window stays up, fresh air in the home, happy days. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe and hit the bell icon so you're notified first when we post our next video. 
If there are any lingering issues that are unresolved, don't hesitate to call us at 888-REMODEL or visit our website at powerhrg.com. Thanks for watching.